Yeah, Mokari says, as a super beginner with C-sharp and Unity, I do find it challenging to keep up with the logic of why, what, and where, because we're using so many little functions. But I do see that once you get the scriptable object set up properly, it becomes very easy to add content to it. Yeah, that's a good takeaway, I think. Um, it is, I admit that I really struggled to make this as clear as possible, but it is a little bit complicated, right? The, all of the generating the dictionaries and we need to get the nouns from here and the action responses from there and the items from there and the interactions. And it is a little bit complicated, right? It's not just like the simplest thing ever, but once you start to get into these kind of systems where you have, you know, multiple items that have multiple interactions, uh, things do get a little bit complicated. So I tried to keep it as simple as possible and tried to name all the functions and stuff as clearly as possible. But I agree, it is a little bit confusing. I, I really tried to think of a way to make it simpler. And this was kind of where I got to. Um, admittedly, I didn't have infinite time to work on this. But um, I'm glad to hear that you got some value out of it with regard to the scriptable object stuff. Um, Oh my God, no, dude. The next ones are not going to be as long. Somehow they just get long, man. Well, you know, well, here's the thing, right? I had the earliest version of this was just part one with just the rooms. But that just felt like too little, right? That's That was like not that exciting to just go from room to room. So I wanted to have like a little bit of game there so you could have like some items and like some little key door puzzles. So then we got another hour and 40 minutes. <laughs> Whoops. Anyway. Um, all right. Let me read back over the. Yeah, thanks. Thank you guys for coming. I appreciate it. Some muds still do exist. Yeah, man. I mean, the text-based thing is not completely dead. There is still stuff that people do with it. It's a really... You know, like I'm a fan of Dwarf Fortress, right, which is not a text adventure exactly, but uses ASCII graphics to kind of keep the overhead down so that they can focus on creating all these crazy systems. And I do think there's something to be said for a simple representational layer so that you can make like interesting systems underneath it. GM Liquid Media, no, this would not take much at all to add GUI buttons or, I mean, look, you could add all kinds of stuff to this. You could add images. You could do a still image-based game. You could add sounds. You could build actually a graphical layer on top of this really easily um, because it's all just data, right? You could put that all into the scriptable objects and just say, oh, this is the sprite for this room, for example. Um, I didn't want to do that because I feel like it would just balloon it even further, but you totally could. I mean, I hope that this is like a decent framework to do other stuff with as well. It's obviously got its purpose, but yeah. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, thank you, c -Strack. And the reminder about the reorderable list. Let me put that up. Okay, so this is what I was thinking about. This is a blog post by Valentin Simonov, who writes generally good stuff. Uh, he's a software engineer. What's his role at Unity? I think he's an evangelist. I can't remember what his job is exactly, but anyway, he works at Unity, and he's smart. And he's written this thing, and it is here. Put it on screen as well. Where's my Twitch window? Here's the. That is the blog post. Check it out. It is a uh, part of Unity Editor internal, right? So, all disclaimers, etc. Um, but yeah. Alrighty. So I'm going to um, I'm going to cut the stream. I'll keep the chat open. If there's any last questions. Um, but thanks again, everybody. Uh, you can follow us on Twitter. Here's the Twitter, Twitter pages. I'm on there a lot talking about politics and other stuff, but I also post links to these. Um, so yeah, thanks everybody. And I will see you in two weeks.